Hi, this is Sneha. I welcome you all to Sneha's Delight Cooking. So today it's going to be a summer special. Summer means the first thing comes to our mind is ice cream, right? So I am making ice cream with a festive twist to it that is Thandai flavored ice cream. Thandai is a cool and refreshing drink served during Holi and uh, Shivaratri widely in North India. So I am making this Thandai ice cream with homemade Thandai powder. And this ice cream is made with no egg, no machine required, extremely easy to make. Still, you get a very stable, silky, creamy, homemade ice cream that is far, far better than the store bought. So, let's see how to make this silky, smooth, refreshing Tandai ice cream. To make Tandai powder, take half cup cashew nut, half cup almonds or bottom, half cup pista, one tablespoon poppy seeds, one tablespoon melon seeds. 1 tablespoon of dry rose petals, 1 tablespoon fennel seeds or somber, 1 teaspoon approximately 20 to 25 strands of saffron, 1 fourth teaspoon of nutmeg powder, 1 fourth teaspoon dry ginger powder, 20 cardamom or elachi, half tablespoon black whole pepper. All ingredients are ready. Now next heat up the pan and let's roast all the nuts just to boost up the flavor. Initially I roasted cashew nut, badam and pista followed by melon seeds and poppy seeds just for 1-2 to two minutes. Switch off the stove and keep it aside. Take the cardamom salachi in the mortar stone and separate the black seeds. Throw away the green skin. Now in a mixer or blender, take all the ingredients and grind this to a fine powder. Please don't over grind it as uh, its nuts is tend to leave oil. You can see tandai powder is ready. Homemade, refreshing, healthy tandai powder is ready. You can store this in an airtight container for 2-3 to three months and you can also serve this with hot milk. Heat up 2 glasses of milk and add 2 tablespoons of thandai powder, boil it and strain it using the strainer and serve it with honey or sugar whatever the way you prefer. And thandai powder is ready now, let's start off with the ice cream. Before we start, it is necessary to keep this freezer safe mixing bowl and the 2 whisk attachment from the electric mixer in the freezer for an hour. All ready, let's start off with the ice cream. Take 1 cup of milk in a saucepan, heat the milk, add 2 tablespoons of tandai powder, whisk it till no lumps, add 1 cup or 397 gram of condensed milk, mix well. Take 1 tablespoon of corn flour in a bowl, add 1 tablespoon of milk, mix it till no lumps and add this to the milk mixture. Whisk well till we get a thick milk mixture to a coating consistency. It's ready. Switch off the stove and let it cool completely. Let's take the bowl and whisk attachment from the fridge. That's how it looks very cold. Add 2 cups of cream to it. Using an electric hand mixer, whisk it for a minute. After a minute, add 1 4 teaspoon of kosher salt or black salt and 1 4 teaspoon of rose essence and continue to whisk this for about 2 minutes or till we get stiff peaks. You can see how stiff the cream is. Now add the completely cooled milk mixture, fold in and whisk for a minute to get a very smooth, silky ice cream mixture wow it looks so velvety now pour this to a freezer proof container cover it with a plastic cover the box and refrigerate this for overnight here we have the end result 
a very stable ice cream it's not melting at all it's very stable just as the store bought here we have a very silky smooth velvety refreshing summer special tandai ice cream is ready enjoy silky smooth refreshing tandai ice cream is ready as you have seen the ice cream was very stable it didn't melt at all so in the comfort of our own home we can uh, have a very different flavored ice cream without compromising on the texture taste and uh, flavor of the ice cream so if you like this video please do like share and subscribe and also press the bell icon to get notification of my future videos you can also follow me on my insta page sneha's delight cooking Thank you so much for watching this video. I will come back with yet another delicious and yummy recipe. Till then, it's Neha signing off. Stay safe.